एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर सीक्वल सीरीज वेर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द सीक्वल फंक्शन टूडे सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द एथमेटिकल एंड लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स टूडे एंड वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट एस क्यूल क्वेरीज वेल मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द एथमेटिकल एंड लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स इन एस क्यूएल सो लेट्स बिगिन एंड फॉर ईच ईच केस वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द एग्जाम्पल सो दैट इट इज ईजियर फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन राइट द क्वेरीज सो लेट्स डाइव इन so so let's move on to discuss the arith arithmetic operators first of all so arithmetical operators are basically used to perform mathematical cal calculations where the calculations could be either addition subtraction multiplication division or uh, it could be modulus or remainder now uh, these arithmetical operators are mostly useful in scenarios like calculating totals if you want to calculate margins or or you, where, wherever you want to calculate discount something in something like this where you want to actually perform the mathematical calculations so let's take a look at a very very quick uh, example to understand how to make use of the arithmetical operators to write sql query so our first example is to calculate the total price make uh, while making use of the multiplication operator So the problem statement says that the store wants to calculate the total price for each order based on the quantity and the unit price. Now you have been given the input table, which is the orders table having four columns: the order ID, item name, quantity, and the price per unit. The order ID is nothing but the unique identifier for each table. Item name is nothing but the item that the customer has purchased. The quantity, which is the number of units the customer purchased, and uh, the price per unit is nothing but the price of the product per unit. now since what you want to calculate is you want to calculate the total price for each order so for the order id 1 the total price will come out to be the 2 into 500 which is nothing but the multiplication of the quantity and the price per unit so the for the order id 1 the the total price would come out to be 1000 for the order id 2 the total price would come out to be 1 into 1200 which will be 1200 and for the order id 3 it will come out to be 3 into 2000 which which will be 6000 so basically what we are doing over here is we are simply uh, doing a multiplication on the columns quantity and the price per unit which is giving you the total price for each order so your output table would look something like this and which will be having a new column added which is the total price column which is actually calculating the uh, total price for each order by cal by uh, multiplying the quantity and the price per unit So our final query would look something like this, where I'm I'm going to write uh all the column names, the column names uh that I want to specifically uh, specifically extract in my select clause and uh, and my and since I'm referring to my orders tables, so I'm writing orders in my from clause. So here the order ID is my first column, item item name is my second column, then quantity is my third column, price per unit is my fourth column, and the new column that I I have introduced is my total price column, which is I have given the alias and I have calculated it by multiplying the quantity column and the price per unit column. So that's how you can make use of the uh, arithmetic operators. Okay, now let's move on to take a look at the second example where we will be calculating the discounted price using subtraction. So here in this case, the problem statement is just apply a flat discount of rupees two hundred on all, on all the items. And since we uh, we have the orders table over here, which has two columns, the item name and the price per unit. Okay, so item name is nothing but the uh, products that has been purchased, and price per unit is nothing but the price of these uh, products. Now what you have to do is you have you just have to simply apply a discount of flat discount of rupees two hundred on all the items that you can simply do it. uh by making use of the subtraction uh subtraction operator okay so here your output table would look something like this well well you'll have a new column introduced which is the discounted price and you can simply calculate the uh, the detail the values of the new column by sim simply subtracting 200 from the price per unit column so if you subtract 500 minus 200 it will give out to be 300 then from 1200 minus 200 it will come out to be 1000 and again from and the next one uh, for the item item name snickers the uh, 2000 minus 200 it will come out to be 1800 and that's how your final query would look something like this where we are going to write the Where we are going to write the column names that we want to extract in my select clause. The first column is item name. The second column is price per unit, and the third column that I just calculated uh, by subtracting two hundred from the price per unit column and giving the column alias as discounted price from my orders table. Okay. 
सो दैट दैट्स हाउ यू कैन मेक यूज ऑफ द एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स टू राइट सीक्वल क्वेरीज लेट्स नाउ मूव ऑन टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स इन एस क्यू एल सो वॉट लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स एंड आर एंड वाई दे आर यूज इज दे आर यूज टू कम्बाइन मल्टीपल फंक्शन इन अ वेर क्लॉज सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव मल्टीपल फंक्शन यू हैव थ्री टू फोर कंडीशन एंड यू वॉन्ट टू मैंशन थ्री टू फोर कंडीशन इन अ वेर क्लॉज दैट्स वेर यू एक्चुअली मेक यूज ऑफ द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स दे आर थ्री लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स दैट वी हैव द फर्स्ट वन इज द एंड ऑपरेटर विच इज यूज वेन ऑल द कंडीशन मस्ट बी ट्रू द सेकेंड वन इज द और ऑपरेटर विच इज यूज वेन एटलीस्ट वन कंडीशन मस्ट बी ट्रू and the third one is not not operator which is actually used to negate a condition so these are the logical operators that we have in sql let's now see uh, their implementation by making use of the examples so the example that we have is to filter the or orders using logical operators so let's take a look at the problem statement over here is you just need to get all the orders where either quantity is more than 2 or the unit price is above 1000 now what now let's let's suppose that we have the sample data of the or orders and here the sample data contains four columns the first column is order id the second column is item name the third col col column is quantity and the fourth column is price per unit it is the same table that we actually discussed in the previous example now what you want to do is you simply want to retrieve the orders where the quantity either where either the quantity is more than 2 or the unit price is A one thousand. So you have two conditions, and e either one of the condition must be true from, uh, from uh these two conditions. So this is the case of the or operator where at least one condition must be true. It is not the and operator where both the conditions must be true. Instead, it is the case of the or operator where at least one condition must be true. So in this case, you you are going to uh. And so in this case, your output table would look something like this, where you you are going to. where you 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 are going to have the order id 2 and order id 3 because in the order id 2 your second condition actually satisfies because the price of the price per unit is actually 1200 which is above 1000 while in the order id 3 the first condition and the second condition both both agrees because the quantity is like more than 2 and again the price is like more than 1000 but the order id 1 is not included because because uh, the because the price is not above uh, 1000 also the quantity is not more than 2 while the quantity is 2 okay that's why we have avoided uh, writing the order id 1 in our output and here is how my i can write my sql query where i i, I can simply uh, select star star represents that you are extracting all the columns from my orders table and where in the where clause since i have two conditions and i am going to mention the or operator in or operator uh, between these two conditions because i each i at least because at least one of the condition must be true so that's how i'm going to write my sql query let's move on to take a look at the another example where we where we are supposed to combine and and or operator both so the problem statement says is get all the orders where the item is snickers and either the quantity is greater than 2 or the price is greater than 1500 so in this case we have the orders table again which is the same table that we referred uh, before so here what you need to do is you just need to extract the orders where item must be a snicker okay so this is the condition that must be true and because we have we have written and and means your all the conditions must be true and in 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 and either quantity should be greater than 2 or price should be greater than 1500 so out of these two conditions any one of the condition could be true because uh, or is or is what is written over here and or represents that at least one condition must be true okay so in this case uh, so in this case we have two condition the first condition is like the item must be snicker and the second condition is that either the item item uh, either the uh, item quantity should be greater than 2 or the item price should be greater than 1500 so that's that's what the second condition says and based on based on this problem statement i'm going to write my query so my output table would look something like this where i i only have extracted the uh, the details of the order id 3 why order id 1 and order id 2 have been excluded because since Uh, the item name must be snicker and it is not 
uh, the item name is t-shirt and jeans which which does not satisfy my first condition itself that's why that is the reason that uh, i have uh, order id 3 in my output table and this is my final query this and this is my final query where i'm just going to write select star from orders where item name is equals to snickers which is my first condition and my second condition is that my quantity should be greater than 2 or price per unit should be greater than 1500 so each of these two conditions could be true okay in my second condition so the, that's that's about uh, so that's uh, that's about the logical operators in sql i hope you are clear with the logical operators till now